guys, today we've got this 14 Ford Fusion EcoBoost. And uh, they said they have no power steering, so if we start this up, we have no power steering at all. Nothing. And it comes up hill assist. Service advanced track. Engines on. So the uh, no power steering. So when I scanned it, got this fuel low pressure fuel system pressure too low. I'm not too worried about that. Because they said it tries fine. But I'm worried about this invalid data received from control module. I'm gonna actually let's uh quick erase this and see what comes back. I think they said they might have jump started this backwards. Does our horn work? Our horn does work. Steering shaft torque sensor. Look at that. Now we got a steering shaft torque sensor code. Mm -hmm. Let's go in here. See live. We may have to put another steering rack in here. Let's see, what's our tor torque sensor too? Nothing. No amperage draw. Is that all he is? Torque sensor too? Hmm. Let me get a diagram for this. diagram here we got a 70 amp fuse we got a 10 amp fuse 19 and 6 so let's check these got my test light I did not check these yet okay so let's lift this up let's see See, can we put this on here? We'll put this on here. Let's see, we're 70. Um, what, what number do we need? We need 19. Fuse 19 is right here. Um, where is that at? Okay, so this must be facing this way. So fuse 19 should be right here. Probably turn the key on. On. Let's see. Fuse 19. Let's see, why is my test light not lighting? Do I get back in action? There we go. So that one's good. And fuse 6. Where would fuse six be? I have no idea where the six would be. Because I don't think it's going to be on here. Because on this, six is a relay. High current battery junction box. Okay, so where's the high current battery junction box? Is that going to be like down here in the front or something? I honestly have no idea where this would be. Um, I only know of this one. What's the other one say? Battery junction box. Left side of engine compartment. So this one's on the left side, that one's on the left side. 
So there's supposed to be another junction box. I don't know where this is the junction box. I think I'm gonna have to go look and see where this one's at. This is part of this one. Looks like there was an animal in here or something. Something down there. See the blue? I'll have to see what this is. Oh, look at this. The high current battery junction box is under battery junction box. So that's interesting. Let's see. And they don't have a way for me to get there either. So I guess I gotta lift the battery junction box up. Yeah, I guess I gotta lift the battery junction box up. So, we'll uh, see about lifting this box up. I don't know if we disconnect anything. Or if it could just be lifted up. So I'm just gonna lift this up. Undo these tabs and see if I can lift it up. There's a tab here. Um, I guess there's probably going to be a couple more and I'll see if I can lift this up see if it's underneath so it says there's supposed to be a 70 amp in here there's no 70 amp we got a 125 which we got power on test light lights we got a 50 got power got this one which just connects this over here is power and then this 200 amp, which I'm assuming goes to the alternator, that has power. So, they all seem to be good. So I guess the only thing we can do is check everything at the steering rack, and if that has power, then we got a bad steering rack. Okay, guys, so we got this uh, power steering shaft torque sensor right here, C200B29. If we come over here, it says about data. And then if we come down... And come down to our testing procedure right here. Um, is this it? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. Uh, well, so I want you to make sure the connector's seated. And then it says install new gear. And also right down here it says any of the following DTCs present. C200B29. Oh, awesome. It says install new gear. So. I'm going to lift it up, we'll check the connectors, but pretty sure we're going to need a new steering gear. Okay guys, so I came down underneath the car and uh, this is all knocked down. And if you look up here, you can see signs of animals. And then you can see here, wires are chewed on our steering rack. So I'm going to bring all this down and we're going to check those. Okay, so here's the wires. Um, you can see the green and white was cut. This one is like partially in through this brown one green and white for a can and then it's in through on the other side you okay guys so i fixed the wire here uh, i'm gonna let this cool down pull it through tape it up and then we'll continue fixing the rest of the wires okay guys so we got that all soldered up there so i'm gonna get this back on tape it up and then we'll uh, put it all back up in okay guys so we got this all soldered up I'm going to get this all wrapped back up and taped up and then we'll put it back up in. Okay guys, so this other one, it doesn't look like they went into the, uh... This other one doesn't look like they went into anything. I was moving the wires around, it looks like it just got the casing, I didn't see any nicks on them. Um, so we're going to go up to the car and try this, see if it works. Hey okay guys, let's put the key in, let's see what happens. <coughs> We didn't get a message. Let's go back. Is it not current? Oh, I wonder if it's current. Let's try starting it. Oh, we got power steering. Look at that. We have power steering now. <coughs> Let's quickly race. 
Oh my god, let's shut it off. Let's do a fault scan. I'm gonna let this charge up, but I think we got it. Let's see, where's our. How far down is our power steering? It's pretty far down. This. I think we got it. I'm pretty sure we got this. Invalid data received from an anti light brake module. Okay, let's shut this off. Let's quick erase these that are here. There you go, we'll start this up and we'll see. I'll do a full system scan again once this is done. Just double check, make sure we don't have anything else. ABS doesn't say there's anything. So I'm gonna let this scan. I'm gonna put the covers back on the heat shield and everything down below. So we're out here in the parking lot. Seems to be driving really fine. We have no codes. Power steering feels great. Um, let's go into our power steering control module real quick. I wanna see what our, let's see. Power steering control module. Double check our codes real quick. No codes. Go to live data. I can't believe we could talk to that just on the low speed. There's our torque signal. Look at our amperage. See our amperage go up. On our torque signal. I don't know where our other torque signal is, but maybe the scan tool just doesn't show it. But yeah, it feels awesome. So we'll park this. And then, uh, we'll quick do a full system scan again because we just drove it. I only drove here in the parking lot. Let's do a fault scan. code so far. So get down to uh, power steering. I'm going to stop it. We have none in the body since I cleared the codes. Oh, the reason why we had body codes, I think, was because I disconnected that fuse box. Power steering. Oh, we do got, how do we got a fault code now? Oh, I wonder if that's just because I went in the codes while it was running. Had to be, because we didn't have it before we started. Um, so I'm going to end this here. Because once you go into that, and we were in gear, it, uh, it set that fault code. Because we have no ABS light. So, hope you guys like this one. See you later.